When we are racked or harrowed up or tormented by guilt or burdened with grief, He can heal us. While we do not fully understand how the atonement of Christ was made, we can experience the peace of God which passeth all understanding. Through the power of the atonement of Jesus Christ, our natures can be changed. Then our power to carry burdens can be increased more than enough. We see ourselves in terms of yesterday and today. Our Heavenly Father sees us in terms of forever. Although we might settle for less, Heavenly Father won't, for He sees us as glorious beings we are capable of becoming. The gospel of Jesus Christ is a gospel of transformation. It takes us as men and women of the earth and refines us into men and women for eternities. Jesus said, Without me, ye can do nothing. I testify that that is God's truth. Christ is everything to us, and we are to abide in Him permanently, unyieldingly, steadfastly, forever. For the fruit of the gospel to blossom and bless our lives, we must be firmly attached to Him. He is Jesus Christ, the Holy One of Israel, full of grace and mercy and truth. It is He that cometh to take away the sins of the world, yea, the sins of every man who steadfastly believed on His name. I witness the reality and divinity of a living Savior who invites us to come unto Him and be transformed. We can be spiritually prepared and cleansed from sin, immersed in and saturated with His gospel, and purified and sealed by the Holy Spirit of promise, even born again. We invite everyone on this beautiful planet to taste of His doctrine and see if it is not sweet and good and precious. We ask those of sincere heart to learn of this doctrine and ask their Father in heaven if it is not true. By doing so, all can discover, embrace, and walk in the true faith of their Father, which faith will make them whole. Oh, sweet the joy this sentence gives. I know that my Redeemer lives. May the whole world know it and live by that knowledge. I humbly pray 